What's up, Poppy family? Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the ASG Macmillan M40A3. Yes, this is the M40A3 by ASG, the new Macmillan one that a lot of people are now getting and liking. And it's people are saying it's really good for an $80 sniper. So let's open it up. So you get the frame or the body, you get the barrel hop up trigger main gun. You get extensions for the butt plate if you have longer arms. A sample bag of BBs, two Allen wrenches, a speed loader, magazine, instruction manual, and unjamming slash cleaning rod. So to put the gun together, you just take this and as easy as it is, you just pop it right into here. Now there are screws already in the frame. So you're gonna take your fatter Allen, fatter Allen key and right behind the trigger guard, there's gonna be a screw right there. So you're just gonna tighten that. There's also another screw you need to tighten in front of the trigger guard. All right, here it is put together. It's just that easy. So here are all the parts of the gun. First, the cheek rest is adjustable. There's screws and you loosen them on each side. And you can adjust the height you want for the cheek rest. And then you can tighten it like that. Then the safety. When the safety is backwards, it's on safe and forwards on fire. Every time you just have to cock the bolt back to cock the spring and chamber a new round. Just simple like that. A top rail for a scope, bottom rail for a bipod. It does not come with either a scope or a bipod. The magazine loads in from the bottom very simply, like that. You press this button here to pop it out and then you can pull it out. The magazine holds 27 rounds. Um, we have the OD Green version here, although normally it would be black. It's just Evic also sells a special OD Green version if you want that. We have a sling mount here and here. And you can't put it on the other side, they're just on this side here. Um, the hop up is right here. The more forward you push the dial, the less hop. And the more backwards, more hop. The grip right here and up here are textured, so it's easy to hold onto it and very comfortable. Now you can see the grip here is kind of weird. It's like built in with the stock, so you kind of have to hold it like this, although it is pretty comfortable. Now, if you want to add the extensions to the butt plate right here, you take the larger Allen key that it comes with, you just unscrew. You unscrew the rear bolt, or the two rear bolts, there's two. and you, take, you can take off the rubber piece. It actually has three, I mean, two skinny ones and a fat one already on, like this. But you can add um, as many as you want here. The bolt is actually pretty long, or the bolts are pretty long. So I'm not gonna add any, I'm just gonna put it back on right now. All right, there. So that's basically the whole gun. Even though I show footage of me getting hits on opposing players, I think it's only fair to show me taking hits too. So I'm playing on a field that's rectangular in shape and to the side is a wooded area and you're gonna see the sniper get sniped. Hit. Overall, it's actually pretty light. Not like super light like a feather or anything, but it's lighter than the other airsoft snipers we've had. So I don't think you'd get exhausted running around with this or anything. It feels pretty solid. Definitely the barrel and the main gun feels solid. And even like the frame feels pretty solid. It doesn't feel like 
Of course, it doesn't feel like metal or super hard polymer or anything, but it doesn't feel like it's just gonna break if you drop it or something like that. I'd expect it to be pretty good. So here's what we've done to the gun. We've put on a bipod, a scope, and a scope riser, and the only reason we put the scope riser on is so we could put on a run cam. So we're gonna chrono it with twos, and then we're gonna shoot the gun with some Valken three twos and some Navrich four sixes. There are players out there that don't call their hits, and you can see lots of videos of that. But I also think people are not getting hits when they think they are, and falsely accusing people of not calling them. After watching my own videos, I understood that that is easy to do. So here are some examples. If I was watching this shot in real time, I might think that I had a headshot, but upon closer inspection, it just barely missed. Here's another one that falls just short of the opponent. So have an open mind that maybe you're not getting the hits that you think you are, and more importantly, have fun and enjoy the game. Now I'm gonna chrono with point twos. 440. Four thirty-two. Four forty-one. Yeah, one point eight one. Four forty-seven, one point eight six joules. Four forty-five, one point eight four joules. 450, 1.87 joules. This gun's averaging around 448 FPS with point twos. I really like taking shots at opponents when they are running. I guess I like the challenge. So take a look at this shot and let me know in the comment section below if weapon hits are considered hits where you play. So I've got the scope zeroed in best I can for being on a scope riser, so let's try it. Jackson is our target and we took shots at him from about 135 feet away. You will also see shots taken from our driveway that are about 165 feet and 200 feet. So now we're using Navrich 4.6s. I got the hop up maxed out. It's not so good with 4.6s. You see, that was aiming at his head. So it definitely worked better with the three twos than it did with the four sixes. I think the four sixes were just a little bit too heavy. Happy family, I think that the Macmillan is an awesome sniper for 80 bucks. If you don't have much cash or you're a young sniper and don't have much cash, uh, I think that this is definitely the sniper for you. It's shout out time. <laughs> All right guys. The boys are at school, so I'm gonna be doing the shout outs today. The first shout out goes to Rodrigo Bros. Thanks for subscribing and thanks for your love. The next shout out goes to Jagger Bomb. Thanks for the compliment. The next shout out goes to Airsoft Kit 101. Thanks for watching our live stream. And if you guys didn't know, we have live streams on Friday nights called Fortnite Friday. I hope you can join us. The next shout out goes to Blaze Columber. Blaze, thanks for watching since 100,000 subs. The next shout out goes to Emmanuel Paul Vlogs. The next shout out goes to Yamir Gadberry. The next shout out goes to Rachel Phillips. Rachel, thanks for watching all our videos. The next shout out goes to Alexander McGee Boy. 
Alexander, thanks for subbing and hitting that notifications button. The next shout out goes to Mitchell June. The next shout out goes to Priyanka Das. The last shout out goes to Ash Gamer, and thanks for subbing. All right, happy family, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications button. Be happy, peace out.